Amen. Praise the Lord. New Horizons Church family. Thank you, friends of the ministry, for joining us today. This is Pastor Wiggins, and I greet you in the name of Jesus, who is almighty. He is wonderful. He is great, and he is greatly to be praised. So we thank you for joining us here on our Fresh Fire Daily Prayer Devotional, where we're praying about living life in the Spirit. That's right, living life in the Holy Ghost, living life in the Spirit of Truth. You know, God, Jesus came and he said his purpose was to give us life and to give us life eternally and life more abundantly. And he intends for that life to be lived out through and in and with the power of the Holy Spirit. And so that's what we're praying about each and every day. Today is day number 13, and we're going to be praying from Galatians chapter 5 and verse 25 from the New King James Version of the Word of God. It says, if we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. Amen. Galatians again, five and 25 simply says, if we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. And so as we pray today about living life in the spirit, we're going to simply pray that we will live in the spirit and that we will walk in the spirit. You know, there's so many things that will tempt us to live life in the flesh to live life controlled by our feelings and our emotions and what happens externally. But God intends for us to live the life that he has given from the inside out in the spirit and walking in the spirit. Come on, let's pray to him. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we come to you in prayer today. We come to you, Lord God, to your throne of grace boldly to find grace and help in our time of need. God, we come today recognizing that you are holy, you are mighty, you're wonderful, you're awesome, you're great, and you're greatly to be praised. So, God, we bow and bask in your presence. God, we humble ourselves up under your mighty hand that in due time you might exalt us. God, we come confessing our sins, knowing that you are faithful and just to forgive us and to purify us of all unrighteousness. God, forgive us when we've tried to live this life that you have given to us We've tried to live it out in the flesh. We've tried to live it out from the outside in with creature comforts and cars and clothes and cash. And those things are have their place, God, but they are external, Lord. So forgive us when we've relied on them for our joy and our happiness. Lord, you told us to live life in you, to live life in the spirit. So God, forgive us when we didn't do that. Forgive us when we tried to do it the way the world does it. And we failed and fall and have fallen miserably into situations we were not intended to be in. God, we pray that the blood of Jesus would forgive us of our sin and purify us of all unrighteousness. Thank you for the forgiveness of our sin. And we pray, Lord God, that you would fill us with the Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Heavenly Dove. Come, Spirit of Truth. Comforter, Teacher, Guide. We need you, Lord, more than ever. We want to live in you. We want to live life in the spirit. Refresh our souls, Holy Spirit. Refresh our souls as we thirst after you, as we pant after you like a deer pants after water, Lord. We pray you would supply every one of our needs. Lord, we want to live life in the spirit. You said, he that hath ear to hear, let him or her hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Lord, we want to hear your voice today. We want to hear what you have to say to us and what you have to say about us and what you have to say for us. Lord, speak to us today through the word of God. Your children are listening. Lord, we know your voice and another we will not follow. So, Lord, speak to us in the spirit. Lord, guide us by all of your truth. Lord, you said a good, the steps of a good person are ordered by the Lord, and we delight in the way. So, Lord, we ask that through your Holy Spirit, you would guide us into the word of God. You would open up our spiritual eyes that we might see wonderful things in your law. Holy Spirit, we pray that not only would we be able to hear from you and not only would we be able to 
to to be refreshed and 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 satisfied by you but lord god we would walk in you we would walk in your ways we would walk according to your word we would walk lord in the wonderful precious companionship that you give to us i pray lord god today that you would teach us how to live life in the spirit how to walk in the spirit, that we might not fulfill the lust of our flesh. I pray, Lord God, that the people under the sound of my voice would experience you in new, fresh, and different ways today. Make yourself known to us, Lord. Reveal more and more of who you are, Lord. Show yourself strong today. Show yourself mighty today. So you show yourself victorious today, Lord, in the lives of your people. And we will give you the praise and the honor and the glory as we live life in the spirit. It is in Jesus name we pray. Amen and amen. Praise God uh, for this time of prayer. We pray it again today. Number 13 from Galatians chapter 5 and verse 25 from the New King James Version of the Word of God. It says, if we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. That's what we're praying about all month long, about living life in the spirit. I pray you get the joy that comes from doing that each and every day, each and every moment of the day. And if you would be so kind as to share this channel with a neighbor, with a friend, pray that the Holy Spirit would minister to them through this prayer experience. And then if you haven't done so, hit the notification button. That way you can start your day knowing that we have put out a new prayer. You can join us around your prayer table in your prayer closet or wherever you pray, and we will be together in faith. And then I just want you to know we love you here at New Horizons Church in the Lord, and we're praying for your victory each and every day. We'll be back tomorrow to be with you. God bless.